Uh, well, you, you know, it's, it's how it goes, isn't it, really? You've got to... Uh, we start, didn't start the game very well, I thought. We were a bit apprehensive, give them a bit too much. But I thought at half-time we, t- we talked and we th- I thought we could play so much better second half. And I said, if we can get the next goal, I thought we could win the game. You know, and uh, three minutes in, we get an opportunity. You know, it's, it's one of those things, isn't it, really? Some, I would imagine, ex-referees will say it's not a penalty. And Graham Souness and them will probably say it's a penalty. Are you with me? It's one of them difficult ones, really. But um, he gave it, the linesman was adamant, but... Uh, the, uh, the fourth official told me he hadn't seen it, the referee, um, and yet another linesman from 75 yards away has seen that it's hit his head first, and if he hits his head at first and then onto his hands, apparently it's not a penalty. So I hope that answers your questions. <laughs> is, is the frustration that it's been awarded by one and then overruled, that that's, that he's not back? Is, is that well, you know, I mean, I wish we surrounded the referee a bit, me. If I'm honest, like the Burnley lads do. <laughs> um, but, you know, he's, I mean, he's one of the best there is, isn't he, Mike Dean? So you've got to accept what he said, I'm afraid. I don't want any more charges, do I? I've got three this week. <laughs> I don't want to keep have a, fee- a hotel down there, do I? <laughs> I'm sure Jenny Kennedy was like that today <laughs> when she saw that. <sighs> do you say anything to the referee after the game? Yeah, I've, I've been to see him, yeah. Um, that's between us, really. Don't, yeah. I don't really want to get into that. Are you just annoyed if he, if he didn't say it, he can't? How could he reverse the decision? Is that your thinking? Well, it's annoying that somebody from 75 yards away can tell somebody else that it come off his head. You know, I, I, think, I find that amazing that the other linesman was instrumental in overturning it, you know. A linesman who couldn't see a toe poke go out for a throw in the first five minutes, you know. <laughs> One of their kids kicked it out. So it's, I find it very strange that 75 yards away. But, hey, listen, the way things are going, um, we keep getting kicked in the teeth one after the other, really. But I've, I can't fault the lads. I thought they were super today. You know, I thought second half in particular, we stepped up a gear. You know, Junior knows he could have had a touch and placed it in the corner, couldn't he, really? But that's... You know what you pay for, really. I think you know your top players. That's how it is. Um, but I can't fault anything. They've, they've really tried hard. The fans were brilliant. Um, now we've got to once again uh, overcome disappointments, decisions, etc., and uh, get ready for Brighton. I bet Brighton are rubbing their hands. They're playing us on Tuesday. Performance have done. Yeah, I know. They didn't do your favour last week. No, I know. I know. I mean. Uh, I was hoping Bournemouth players had listened to my comments. <laughs> Neil, you seem a lot sort of calmer than after the Chelsea game. Do you think that was sort of more a more understandable error by the? No, I'm just trying not to get fined. Okay, fair enough. So I've been, <laughs> advi- <laughs> I've been advised. I'm absolutely distraught underneath. People say you're still smiling. I said not underneath. I'm not. Neil, just so we've got the chain of events right. So the linesman on this near side flags for it. The referee doesn't see it and then gives the penalty. But it's the linesman in the other half. Who I'm told says that it hit his head or something on the way. I mean, he actually just at the last second does lift his arm up to the ball. Are you with me? Yeah. So there is a movement, but um, it's I, you know, I can't. I just can't understand how somebody 75 yards away can influence the two officials. Darren Can's a good rep. You know, he's a top linesman. So. Um, I can't tell you any more than that, so. Neil, there was one when um, I think Gunnison went down. Under. We feel that was the worst penalty of the shout of the lot. When we've watched Gunnison by Gunnison never, you know, he said he made a meal of it, uh, Mike. And I've just said to him, well, when you watch it tonight, you'll see that Taylor does come across and, and, and uh, Gunnison has got his ankle there, but then he comes further across and catches him right on his ankle bone. It's a, it's a penalty. So we're disappointed at that decision as well, really. Other than that, it's been a very good game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Neil, can you kind of use that sense of, of grievance going forward? I haven't got a bloody clue, darling. I've been saying a grievance for months now, so I haven't got a clue. I don't know how we'll turn up now on Tuesday, and uh, I honestly don't know. Uh, it's, uh, it's another disappointment for us today. Because um, I did feel second half we could win the game today. However, I feel quite confident today, if I'm honest. I thought we um, 
and you know we in another another day we probably could have done but it's our own fault we can't you know we've had the opportunity we've missed them um decisions haven't gone for us but they haven't gone for as much although people remind me that we did get an offside goal against brighton in september or something like that it seems that long ago there have been so many other uh, decisions go against us this season i don't think it's evening out at the minute so i think in the next five games we're going to be inundated with good luck you know, I bet Liverpool are quaking in their shoes now, <laughs> thinking about that. I did say we'd have to win three and draw one, but nobody realised I meant Liverpool was one of my three. <laughs> I've always done well against Liverpool, all right? But, but if, if you can win on Tuesday, then, you know, it's only two points and, and suddenly it looks different, isn't it? Yeah, it is, but I meant from their point of view, if they beat us, it's probably all over, yeah. isn't it? You know, so a lot depends on the night, really. And, if things go for you, don't they? We hope that we have a bit, bit more luck than we've had lately and uh, when we're ready for it. You know, um, they've been very fortunate today, I think, uh, Burnley. But you know, I think they've, they've played their own the look over the last few weeks. They've got results um, when they've had to. Uh, you need to play teams at the right time. And I think they, they, have, they have had that little bit of luck as well. But, you know, Sean's done a fantastic job keeping them, you know, where they are year in, year out. We've got to look at them, you know. I know they went down the first year he, he was here, weren't he? And uh, they built the club back up and, and now they're, you know, they're doing really well. So it's probably a lesson that we've got to learn that. We don't want to go down, but I think we've got to use that. The club's stable now and I think it, it could look to the future. You've seen the back in today, we'll have 33,000 or whatever it takes next week. It's uh, fabulous. The fans have been brilliant. So uh, while I can try and enjoy it, um, it is difficult at times. All right, thank you. Thank you.